about you, but I get tired of garter stitch sometimes. Talking specifically about shawl edges, have you looked at the gorgeous Peri Peri in our latest issue? It's got really cool I-cord edges. I want to talk about them. I-cord, we tend to think of it for mitten strings and it is amazing for that. And you may have learned to do I-cord. I certainly did on one of these things. It was my very first knitting when I was little. Knitting knobby, I think we call them. Let's talk about I-cord knitted with your needles and how you can use it on shawl edges. I want to give you some demos. Let's talk about knitting straight up I-cord. It's a useful thing to do here. I've got three stitches on my needles. I cast on ah, whichever way, doesn't really matter. And what you're doing is you're always knitting on the right side. I've knitted these three stitches and the yarn is hanging off stitch number three. I'm gonna slide them back to the beginning of the needle and I'm gonna knit again. It's stitch one. What happens is the yarn is stretching across the back from three around to number one again. And when you tug on that tight, it closes up the cord. This is a three stitch I cord, four stitches works just as well. After I finished a row, I tug on it a bit. You'll notice that stitch is a little sloppy. That comes out with blocking, with washing. Again, I've knitted the three stitches, I'm going to slide back, knit again, and that's what you keep doing. That's how standard unattached I-cord goes. Let's talk now about how that applies to edges.